Hey everybody, I am back. Happy Memorial Day weekend. This is the last time that you'll hear me say that. It is the end of the day. I am back home now from camp. We just arrived. We are unpacking and getting ready to get the day wrapped up and get into the work week mode and get everything ready around here. I hope everybody enjoyed their Memorial Day and I hope that everyone looked up to the sky and said thank you and showed their gratitude for all the men and women that fought for this country that are no longer with us. So we just got home and I did stop at the Dollar Tree. We really didn't do that this weekend. We pretty much stayed at camp. We went out on the boat as you will see. I will put all the videos in and the photos in for our weekend Memorial Day trip up in camp. We had the best time. It is definitely my outlet. Like I was saying in one of the clips, I really strongly suggest that everybody, everybody and anybody finds their niche and what makes them happy, what brings them peace, what releases their daily stresses and things like that and, and things to look forward to that they can go off to. Everybody has um, a different idea of it. Ours is complete peace, silence, quiet, being up at camp, whether it's camping in a tent or camping in a camper. We've done both now. Um, we've spent the last 10 years going to the same campground up in Maine and we tent every summer normally. Again, this camper is a gift, uh, a wedding gift from a dear friend of ours that allowed us to have it for the whole season and what a gift it is because honestly, we are having the best time these past couple of days, I feel like I've been away on a week's vacation. And being in a camp type of environment in nature, and the peace and quiet, just the low key things that we enjoy doing in our downtime. I painted, we went fishing, I rode the boat, all those things I enjoy. I photographed all weekend long, so many different things. And we just enjoyed quiet, we don't put the TV on. We don't do anything. We played cards at the table for the most part. Painted, hung out. My son likes to draw. He got some paper and some pencils and he went to town and used his creativity. So we just enjoyed our quiet and our company around the campfire. You know, just everybody outside in the fresh air and the mountain air. And that's what makes us tick. That's what makes us enjoy life and all the hard work that we put in every day in getting away and having it be completely taken away in the, the split second that we get up there or when we go to camp in Maine it's just peace for us so um, that means something different for everybody but I hope everybody finds their their happy place so I'm going to jump into this and then I will put all of the clips and the videos to our trip right after this. Um, I didn't find too much. We didn't go while we were up there. I actually just stopped on the way home and grabbed a couple of things. I am going to make a different type of fairy garden. So I had stopped at Hobby Lobby and um, I actually found this. And they these pieces were on clearance at Hobby Lobby, not that much more than I would pay at the dollar store and for much bigger pieces. So I paid a dollar 24 for this hot dog cart and I'm going to put it in my fairy garden. I'm probably going to paint it. I'm going to repaint some of the colors on it and stuff. Um, but I think it's adorable and I absolutely love it. And this is my girl. So she was meant for me. She was sitting there waiting for me to come and get her. This was also a dollar 24 and she's a hula fairy girl that is just it's all me it's all me so I'm probably gonna repaint her outfit and um and just do little things like that to, to make her a little bit more jazzy looking so this I found and it's quite big and it's a welcome sign and this was only 99 cents and then these butterflies I found as well and they were only 99 cents and they are a paper kind of material and they're beautiful and they're realistic looking and I'm going to incorporate those in the fairy garden somehow some way so that's all I got at the Hobby Lobby and then this is the Dollar Tree stuff so I got these 
and I think that they're beautiful. They're on one stem, so it's just one piece. But I thought my fairy garden, I could use these as like little trees and then put the butterflies in them like they landed on the trees in the fairy garden. And then I got these flowers to sprinkle around. And this is just one stem with all these little pink flowers on it. And then I got this basket to which I am going to turn over and paint. I don't know which color I'm going to spray paint it yet. And I got this bowl and I'm going to leave that color alone because you know that's my favorite color with the scalloped edges going around. So I'm going to paint this, not sure what color, and then I'm going to glue the bowl to it and make a stand out of this. And then I'm going to build the fairy garden inside of this bowl right here. And um, I'm, I may or may not do it sometime this week because this week is going to be a pretty busy week for us. So... I got that for an idea. Of course, I found two more of these square wreath forms and I grabbed them because I'm already almost out of the other ones that I got. And then I got these two pink spools of um, ribbon. And these are both nine feet, the burlap ribbon, and they're pink and I think they're pretty, so I'm gonna use those. And Candy is whining at me. Candy had a hectic camping trip. Uh, she was a little more, you know, in need of attention this time. She was kind of confused why we were back there. She's used to being quiet in her own environment with just her mother. Um, but she is going to get used to it for the amount of times that we're probably going to go up there over the season. And then I found these, which I absolutely thought were beautiful. And I got them because I'm going to probably put them into some type of a wreath. Um, I just want to get some flowers that kind of remind me of like oceany and whimsical. So once I find those, she's crying because dinner is over here. We haven't eaten yet and um, she, she wants it. So excuse candy pants. Um, so I got these in the land of the sea, the land in the sea where I want to be not all stars belong in the sky. My soul belongs in the sea. I love the ocean, happy place. So I grabbed those because I just loved them. And then I found these. And of course, because they have sunflowers, I had to have them because if we take, you know, our photographer takes, you know, the pictures of us on our wedding day, then I can use those and make like a collage type of frame out of them put those around and then I grabbed these which we aren't going to use them today but we can use them for the 4th of July. There is six paper trays in here. Put some burgers, some chips or some fries, some pickles, some lettuce, tomato, you know all that stuff and um, serving in these. I thought that was cute. There's not going to be many of us gathering you know for these occasions so I just grabbed one because I didn't need too many. And then these are the little hot dog trays in the 16 hot dog holders in here. And I thought that that print was cute, so I grabbed that. But it did have a couple of different options. And then these were quite big, which I was surprised. So these are the Colgate on uh, the baking soda and peroxide for the whitening. And 25% free. And they're actually really a decent size for a dollar. And they're a really good brand. And my son loves whitening toothpaste. So I grabbed these. Um, yeah, these are really good. I was surprised to find, you know, this size at the dollar store. Because normally they're like the smaller travel ones. If they're like Colgate or, um, you know, a name brand like that. And then I saw somebody haul these um, a couple of weeks ago. And I just thought I wanted to, I was curious. I liked Beanie Babies when I was little. And these little uh, TY mini Beanie Boo collectibles in the toy section, they hand painted. And it's like a question which one you're going to get every time. So the point of it, of course, is trying to collect them all. I just got three. I thought that they were so sweet. Um, and... I 
I already opened them because, you know, curiosity killed the cat and I had to know what was in there. So they, after you open the box, they come in like a little bag like this so you can't see through it. And then I pulled out this one first, which I thought was so sweet and so cute. And he, I, I mean, they're adorable, honestly. The detail on them is just, it's so cute. And I could even use that in like one of my crafts or something like that, like when I'm like when I'm crafting. So I thought he was adorable. He made me so happy. I was excited to get the owl. I've always loved owls. I love all animals, honestly. I wish I could just hang out with them all day. And then I got the orange one. And when I pulled it out, it came in this little bag like this. And then this one is a dragon. Oh, I just killed him. He died. Oh, I hope he's okay. <laughs> So I grabbed it. Oh my God, isn't he the sweetest? And they all have that little T-Y um, on there. And he's just cute. I love him so much. He's just cute. He's just cute. I can use him. I can use him in a fairy garden. I mean, I can use that owl in the fairy garden, to be quite honest with you. I don't know what I'll do with the dragon yet, but I'll figure that out in a few minutes. And then, I can't believe this is already 11 minutes. Um, so I got this one, this is the last one, came in a little orange bag. It is kind of exciting to open them, to be honest with you. It is kind of like, oh my God, which one am I gonna get? So, and then, and there, I got the monkey. And I love him. I think he's sweet. And he's got a little, like a little furry felty feel to him. And he's like soft to touch and, and you know, he's just, they're cute. They're cute. I'm glad I got them. I can use them in different ideas or, or whatever. I think that they're cute. You go grab five of these, you know, five, five, ten of them, depending on what you want to spend to like surprise a little kid. I loved little tiny toys when I was growing up. Something small, handheld, miniature. It made me happy. Isaiah was the same way. He loved anything that was small and fitting and just, you know, just intricate and, and tiny. He loved everything small. Come here, Candy. Come here. And, uh, and I just think that they're precious. So I'm glad that I got them. I may pick up a few more to see other ones that I might get. And that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoy the videos to follow. I hope you enjoy um, the haul. And I hope that um, you guys had a great weekend. And find your happy place. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hello, candy yams. Back at it again. everybody it is Sunday we are just waking up at camp and we ran to the nearest Dunkin Donuts um I am not a Dunkin Donuts girl as we know 
I'm a McDonald's coffee girl, but up here we found a Dunkin' Donuts that makes a killer coffee and they must, they must throw a splash extra in there just for love because this thing tastes so good. Richie's the one that talked me into it because I'm normally just a plain medium iced coffee with one cream, one sugar from McDonald's girl. And he tried this a while ago and I guess it's the... So this is a medium French vanilla swirl iced coffee with cream only. You don't need any extra sugar. It's sweet enough. It tastes amazing and it is waking me up good today. So today is Sunday and we are going to just do some water activities and we're going to go fishing and we are going to lay out on the sandy area uh, and the little beach area in front of where the lake is. I may end up at a store today. I might do a walk with me through a couple of the stores, show you some things that I might find that might be different than what I find at my local Dollar Trees to where we live. And also, um, we may pop into Walmart. I kind of want to float. Um, the water is beautiful, but there are some pretty big tadpoles in there. And I am not 100% sure I'm going to get in all the way. But if I have a float, I can hang out in the water too. Richie is going to put his boat in the water today. Isaiah and him are going to go fishing. And it's just going to be a nice day. Don't forget to look up at the sky over this weekend. And thank all of the soldiers that have passed, that fought for this country. And thank them for their service and for them giving their lives for this country. I hope everybody is having a great weekend. I cannot even begin to tell you how grateful I am to my friend Melody for such a gift to allow us to be able to come up here and experience such a beauty for a whole season in a camper that I have only dreamed about living in my whole life since I was a little girl and roaming the world and being free. We're gonna go fishing today. We are going to get the boat in the water. I'm gonna go get some floats, possibly if it warms up. We're supposed to be in the high 70s to the early 80s. Does not feel like that yet. Last night, I believe it went down to 39. <clears throat> it was absolutely freezing. We played cards until the wee hours of the morning. I don't know if anybody knows how to play Rummy. Rummy is a game that my Nana and I played my whole childhood. She taught me how to cut the deck and shuffle when I was like three or four. And we would stay up all night, play most of the day on and off if we weren't outside making mud pies under the clothesline swimming in the kid pool outside during the summer vacations and summertime with our entire family with us. And we would sit and play Rummy for hours. And that game has just carried on in our family tradition of when we're getting together, we're relaxing and we're having time for ourselves. <clears throat> we played about six hours of Rummy last night and had the best time with my son, downtime that's much needed. The little things still work for people, guys. It's the small things that matter the most, not things that cost a lot of money and take you away from the beauty of the world. There's a brand new tadpole he's getting pretty big actually he'll be a frog soon enough see if i can zoom in anymore there is a ton of them in here and last night when we went for the evening walk around the camper 
area, the sound of the frogs was mesmerizing. There's nothing that I love more than to be out in nature in the world. I try to zone into every little noise, every, every scenic view. It's so important to just take that time to look at the bigger picture. There's tadpoles everywhere. He's going fishing. Oh my God. That was a bug. I just completely freaked out. <laughs> it completely freaked me out. The bug flew on my screen. He's going fishing. Just helping him put in the boat in the water. And then later on, we're going to go on a date on the boat. But right now he's going to take some man time. I bought him this boat for Father's Day. Two Father's Days ago. And he has loved it it is a blow-up boat i think i paid 50 dollars for it at walmart it came with the oars it's sturdy we fit in there two three of us i don't like to fish he is obsessed with it so he fishes i float in the other side lay my legs over dangle them in the water bring a book read and float. I'm not going out with him right now. I am going to go out with him later on today or this evening and just kind of chill and watch the world around me. Turn around. Richie? Crackling Creek. Do you mean the babbling brook? No, the Crackling Creek. We're floating the boat. Down the moat. Richie, as we just saw, said to me on the way back to camp, are we going to stop by the Crackling Creek? And I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> Do you mean the babbling brook? Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> but now and forever, it will always be the crackling creek. I am currently getting attacked by bugs and suffocating in my life jacket. Look at this water, so beautiful, so clear. I want to get in there right now. We're watching fish jumping up and down out of the water and nothing will hook on.
caught one fish. It got away before I could take a picture. Shame, shame. Circle. And let's see how many bugs you kill. <laughs> Isaiah hates bugs. I gotta see one. Yeah, so careful because it might be hot. Did I run the dishwasher or the dishwasher? Oh, you know where there's a pole? Use the one behind you. Don't if disappoint. Hammer, it's, 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 you, no way. Don't don't um disappoint. I gotta find it. Well, she wouldn't come up. I told you that. Oh, there it is. Ten points. You have in your house, you know. What? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, good, dude. If I got you that Oh, my. Come on. My son hates bugs. I swear I'm hitting them. Hold on. It just had to go off through the bed. They're just like slipping through something. Oh, it's not in my They're really tiny. Now I'm going over to my fire pit. Oh, my fire. <laughs> everybody it is monday happy memorial day yet again this is memorial day listen to the sounds that we get to hear when we're up here I was really hoping that the woodpecker that wakes us up every morning was going to um, do it. He's been doing it all morning, so I came outside to catch it. We're off to get Dunkin' Donuts coffee. This is our backyard when we're up here. I'm gonna do some more raking this morning before we have to head back this afternoon. I really wish that woodpecker was still pecking the wood because it is so loud. It is incredible how loud it is. Nature is absolutely stunning to me. We are wrapping up our Memorial Day up at camp. We are about to get ready to go home and continue on with the day getting ready for the work week and just getting back into the grind of things honest to goodness this is 
really what life is all about. It's about finding your niche of what it is that makes you feel peaceful, happy, at home, wherever it may be. That could be anything for anybody. Hi, Candy. Hi, my mama's girl. To be able to go away and to connect to something outside of what you do on your daily routines and the hustle and bustle of every single day life. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.